then you cannot code the rate in advance right sometimes when you code the rate for example you said that okay uh, i would be selling you one crate for 100 dollar so it means this order is for 400 dollar right so if the order is for 400 dollar so you make a cushion for manufacturing over sometimes the real actual when you make when you finish making the crate then you calculate it the manufacturing overhead can be up or can be down from what you have anticipated so smart managers they anticipate or they estimate manufacturing overhead in advance before actually producing the order right so job order costing is basically based on estimation of manufacturing overhead right so a smart manager is when they receive the order they receive the order based on their quotation right and they start producing the goods and at the end when they actually calculate their cost and when they compare it with the order cost and they find out some difference it means either the cost is above or cost is below right so job order costing is adjusting that differences so let's just talk about this so up till now any ambiguity regarding finding the cost of direct material and direct labor ali junpyo constants subhan it's pretty simple right labor cost is simple material cost is very simple let's just move forward now compute pre determined overhead rate and explain why estimated overhead cost rather than actual overhead cost are used in costing process i already explained it that when you receive the order in advance you basically estimate the cost which kind of cost the overhead cost like because you don't know that how much electricity is going to be used how much ac cost is going to be used how much water is this cost is going to be used how much generator salary is going to be adjusted for this product how much lubrication is going to be used you know you know uh, for plant and machinery cost is going to be used for this product right so you pre determine so let's just talk about this so why to use allocation base let's just talk about this so what is smart way to estimate the overhead cost is to estimate on whole year twelve months so to you see your cost or you you see your comparable businesses and you see that okay their uh overhead cost is for example 140000 right but 140000 based on what so you decide in advance whether machine hours based on machine hours or based on labor hours how much labor works so normally the the, the, the manufacturing overhead is based on labor hours machine hours labor cost and that's it sometimes some other you know they also have their other cost allocation for example number of unit produced right so a logical explanation is that in order to find out per unit so this is the manufacturing overhead total 140000 for per unit right what people do they just divided with number of units per unit right but that's not a logic because we talked about in our previous class uh, you know uh, uh, classes that we need to see who drives this cost where this cost is coming from either this cost is based on labors or machine or labors cost labor hours or labor cost 
or either finished goods. So we have done different examples as well. For example, we talked about okay number of you know uh, scan cost based on particular patient, based on number of patient. Sometimes it is direct, sometimes it is indirect, right? So that's why. So, so smart way to find out the manufacturing overhead, predetermining overhead is that you find out, okay, your previous year total manufacturing overhead was 140,000. Or if your factory is new, you see the comparable match. Okay, my competitor or my comparable company, their manufacturing overhead was 140,000. And that is based on the, for example, 10,000 working hours. So in which the labor, they work 10,000 hours in whole year. So it means per hour, my manufacturing overhead gonna be $140, sorry, $14, right? So now, what is the benefit of this? So the benefit of this, when you receive the order, we know that direct material cost 116, direct labor 118. So my total manufacturing cost gonna be 120, 130, 130 and uh, 210, 210, 208, 210, 218. And then you see the quote. If the company say that, okay, you need to produce me the four crate, four wooden crates, and I would be giving you $250 for each crate. And then you can see that what is my profit margin. If my profit margin is 10%, 20%, whatsoever is there, then I would accept this order. Otherwise, I will reject this order. Right? So these are the uses of having pre determining overhead rate advanced overhead rate or estimated overhead rate. But in managerial accounting, we call this applied overhead, right? Applied, advanced, estimated is the same name. So are you guys now understand why we, you know, before going into production, we estimated you understand the logic behind that? Subhan, Ali, Constance, Junpyo. So uh, can you please explain the last part? Okay. Okay, let me explain one more time. Okay. So up till now, what we have discussed when we are doing job order costing in job cost sheet, we have, we know that the manufacturing cost is equal to direct material, direct labor, manufacturing overhead. The sum of these is called manufacturing cost, right? And then we have, we add non-manufacturing cost, then we got the product cost, right? So if we receive the order, what is the logical process? Process is when you receive the when factory because managerial accounting is applicable in a factory. So a factory doesn't work like that. Factory normally works in orders that they receive advance orders and then they when they have the you know estimated orders and then they go for production. So normally company receive orders based on quotations. For example, if we continue our example of wooden crates, so peer company is manufacturing of the wooden crate. So a company ABC, they contacted peer company and peer co that I need four wooden crates of this dimension. And what is your quotation? Since Peer company is not producing or not went into, uh, you know, they, they didn't go into the production and make four crates and then tell the ABC company, okay, this could be my cost because sale didn't happen. Contract is not yet signed. The ABC may reject its offer or may 
give us the offer. So in that case, we know that rack material for making this kind of crates, this dimension crates, wooden crates, how much logs are going to use, how much wood is going to be used. We know that how much, how many hours the worker is going to spend to make this kind of crate. So that is easy. So direct material and direct labor is going to be easy. But manufacturing overhead is, is a little bit tricky. So we know that direct material is going to cost us 88. Sorry, 88 is our Eighty-eight is over. Eight hours worker gonna a worker gonna spend eight hours and it's all you is eleven. So direct labor cost gonna be eighty-eight dollar. Material cost is gonna be one one six. So if we are going to quote this, that we are going to quote the uh, uh, price. Manufacturing overhead is the important factor. But still, we didn't go into production. So we don't know about the manufacturing overhead, right? In that case, smart managers, they go for estimation for costing, right? So for cost on the basis of what? So they for cost on the basis of yearly manufacturing overhead and how they can find out the yearly manufacturing overhead from their past performance okay last year our manufacturing overhead was for example 140000 right so remember 1 or 140000 is the answer no based on what based on some allocation base what is the allocation base which derive this cost. This 140,000 is based on what? Based on machine hours, based on direct labor dollars or based on direct labor hours. On which basis you ex experience this $140,000 cost? We said the hours, we said 10,000 hours. The, in our previous year, 10,000 hours the workers work and we incur 140,000 manufacturing overhead total cost. It means per hour is going to be 14, right? So in that case, per hour manufacturing overhead cost is 14, but how many hours are spent to make this 